What's up, Gotham City? We having fun yet? In five hours on the dot, I'm gonna be shouting Batwoman's true identity from the rooftops. This is really happening. Marcus is about to shut Batwoman down for good. This is Matthew Davis. Catch a new episode of Legacies this Thursday at 9, 8 central on The CW. Breaking news now at 10. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has begun. Bomb blasts being heard across the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv, where it is now Thursday morning. The blasts bring, uh, being felt just minutes after Russian President Putin announced that he is launching a special military operation in Donbass, an area of Ukraine that he declared independent this week. President Biden condemning the, quote, unprovoked and unjustified attack, saying the prayers of the entire world are with the people of Ukraine. Complete coverage now on the news at 10. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. There are explosions in several areas of Ukraine tonight after Russian President Vladimir Putin's announcement of a so-called special military operation. Earlier, the U.S. warned Ukraine that a wider invasion was imminent, and tonight President Biden blaming Russia for what he calls the catastrophic loss of life that will follow. Here now a live picture from Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, where it is just after 8 a.m. Thursday morning. Ukrainian President President Zelensky has declared martial law and told residents not to go to work or school and to stay indoors. Now let's take a look at the map of the region and focus on the right of your screen. That is the Donbas region in eastern Ukraine, home to many separatists still loyal to Russia. That's where Putin had initially ordered his troops, calling the invasion a, quote, peacekeeping mission. It's also where the Russian military may make its first direct contact with Ukraine's army. A lot going on tonight our Pedro Rivera tracking all of it for us from the newsroom. Pedro. At this hour, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has declared martial law, as you mentioned, in his country in response to the Russian invasion. The president urging his citizens to stay calm as explosions are being heard in multiple cities, including the capital of Kyiv. After Russia announces tonight, they have launched a special military operation in eastern Ukraine. Less than an hour ago, we started hearing air raid sirens in the capital of Kyiv. This is the area known as Maiden Square in the heart of the city. We also want to show you this image. It was just posted by the Ukrainian government about a half hour ago. A big explosion in Kyiv as viewed from the airport. The first explosion in a wider war still to come. In this early morning address, Russian President Vladimir Putin says his troops will hold a special military operation in eastern Ukraine for what he says is in an effort to protect the Donbass region, an area he declared independent days ago. The Russian president claiming that the goal is not to occupy Ukraine, saying, quote, bloodshed lies with the Ukrainian regime. Reports from the ground say explosions can be heard in the capital city of Kyiv. This is video showing explosions lighting up the skies from Kharkiv. So far, no injuries have been reported. This is a perilous moment, and we're here for one reason and one reason only, to ask Russia to stop. In a special U.N. Security Council meeting held Wednesday night, U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield making the plea to Russian officials to call off an invasion. Return to your borders. Send your troops and your tanks and your planes back to their barracks and hangars. That emergency meeting coming to an abrupt end with the Ukrainian ambassador saying, There is no purgatory for war criminals. They go straight to hell. Early Wednesday, U.S. intelligence learned Russian forces arrived to the final points of readiness with troops and tanks to the east, north, and south of Ukraine. The United States issuing sanctions on Russia's Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline, an effort that has not slowed down the invasion. In a televised address, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky told his citizens he reached out to his Russian counterpart who did not return his calls. However, Zelensky saying they are prepared to defend their homeland. If we are attacked by troops, if they try to take away our country, our freedom of life, the lives of our children, we will defend ourselves. And directly to Russian citizens, the president saying we need to stop before it's too late.